here's my HP Ryzen setup, okay? Since everybody was questioning it, here is my graphics card installed into it. Here is it running. It gets really hot since, since the CPU fan is pretty bad, so I had to leave the case open. So here's the, this is a short graphics card, which does not take any extra cables, which is good, okay? Here's it running, here's it on. Okay, let's check out the specs. Okay, here's all the specs. Here's the graphics card running. Sorry about that. And task manager, okay? Here's a C CPU and graphics card. One minute. Okay. Ooh, okay, sorry about that. And then here is the CPU Z specs. Here's the end graphics card. Catch. And there it is running, okay? Here, let's go to what it says in specs. Okay, see? If you go to the Wikipedia, and you go to 1050Ti, there it is. Let's find my mouse. And then if you scroll over to wattage recommended, which is right there, 75. And that's what it recommends. So when you go to their the EVGA's website and you look it up, that you can install this graphics card on this computer when it recommends under three it recommends three hundred TDP power supply. Okay, and then this power supply on this HP computer is three ten, so you could install it on this computer. That's what I'm running. I'm playing Apex Legends on medium or something, whatever the default setting is, and then at, this is my display settings, let's see. Let's see if I can go to it. I'm at that display setting, okay? Also, I'm at, let's see, where is it say? Event settings. That's my monitor, okay? 75 hertz. And it runs fine. And I play Apex Legends and League of Legends. That's all I play. All, but the other graphics card you could get if you want, I was thinking about, it has to be un anything that recommends only 300 power su watt power supply because the power supply is a limiting factor on this computer pretty much. Uh, is the other one is the 10 GTX 10 or 1650 that recommends and 75 TDP because what the problem is one anything higher you need to plug it in and if it's higher then it'll need more the power supply needs to be higher than that so then you'll need to upgrade the power supply and you're going to have to contact HP about that or find one. Only a few cases, a used one, because only a few cases that HP create, the, the power supply actually works with this. That's a problem. Yeah, something's wrong with my Zoom, which is weird. So yeah, if you have any other questions or anything... Leave a comment and I'll try to remember to look it up look it up, but sometimes I don't see it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.